Hello, it's how to not to and in today's video I will be continuing where I left off in my last video where I showed you how to hang wallpaper part two. If you can remember back uh, last summer, if you can't then please click on the links at the end of this video to see part one and two. I know there's been a long gap between part two and three. Um, do you want to know why? No? Good. I'll just carry on with this video then. <laughs> um, do check out part one if you want to know how to prepare the walls. Um, okay, so this is how far I got to where the wall sticks out and I'm now going to place the wallpaper against the wall. Uh, make sure you align the wallpaper against the other hung wallpaper to match the patterns first. Then mark where you need to cut using a pencil and do the same at the bottom. Do leave two inches at the top to trim later. I do draw um, a T, a letter T at the top of the back of the wallpaper as this will ensure you don't hang it upside down, which I've done in the past. <laughs> Another tip is to use a spirit lever to draw a straight line when you come to trim the excess. So taking the wallpaper scissors, cut along the line, add the paste to the paper, Actually, the reason why there was a long gap is because um, I ran out of wallpaper glue, as you do. I couldn't be bothered to travel to the main DIY store. It would have took me too long to get there and back. And my local DIY store ran out of wallpaper. So um, when I desperately need something, it's always out of stock. <laughs> anyway, since then, I've managed to find the wallpaper glue in Poundland, believe it or not. So I just hope it sticks. Okay, so fold in half as it's easier to handle. The paste I'm using, all-purpose wallpaper paste. I mean, it's a do-it-yourself paste. It does a good job, never lets me down. It's cheap, quick and easy to make. Just um, add cold water until it forms a paste. So, so I'm placing the wallpaper onto the wall. So once it's on the wall, I can release the rest of the wallpaper. And because I marked it with a T at the back of the wallpaper, I always hang it the correct way around. And there you can see the patterns match perfectly together side by side. If you haven't got patterned wallpaper, think yourself lucky. You can just hang your wallpaper without bothering to match the patterns up. Okay, I'm going to smooth the wallpaper using a wallpaper brush to remove any bubbles. As you can see, I have left approximately two inches of wallpaper at the top of the wallpaper. So I'm now using this tool to push the paper between the wall and ceiling. I can now see where I need to trim. So using a ruler, I'm going to draw a line across the top. Um, I haven't got a Stanley knife. It would be much easier to place a smoother tool and just use a Stanley knife to cut it away. But um, I've lost mine. On this wall, there is a wall socket. It can be a bit tricky to cut around sockets, etc. But if you follow these steps I'm going to show you now, it should be okay. So <clears throat> allow the wallpaper to hover over the socket and brush the wallpaper around the socket. And I'm going to mark the edges of the corners of the sockets first. And with the ruler, I'm gonna draw an X across the switch. So using a pencil, I'm going to push it through the wallpaper in the center of the X and then cut along the X shape across the switch, but leave a centimeter gap before each corner of your switch. Cut off the extra flaps of the wallpaper, leaving a border around your switch. This should leave you with a smaller gaps that you can peel back to reveal the full socket. If you want a seamless finish, unscrew the socket, but do ensure you switch off the electricity at the mains first. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to leave the paper flaps along the side of the switch. 
Oh, and that's it. So I'm just going to trim the, the paper flaps and leave them along the side of the switch. Okay, the last thing to do is trim the excess paper along the bottom and that's it. The hardest part's done on this side of the wall anyway. Cut away any excess paper. Okay, I have to quickly hang this wallpaper before it gets dark. My light isn't that bright in this room. So like before, align the wallpaper, match the patterns together, leave two inches at the top and mark where you need to trim the top and bottom. Draw a line using a spirit lever, cut and paste. Simple, right? Wrong. Corners can be the hardest part to do, especially if the walls aren't level. But I'm going to show you how to overcome this step by step. So here we go. Leave for five minutes to allow the paste to soak through, fold in half. I'm also pasting the walls to ensure it fully sticks to the wall. Okay, take your wallpaper to the wall and line it up with the paper already hung. Do not overlap the paper. Um, I'm going to match the pattern first and I'm going to push the left side gently into the corner and I'm going to smooth the right side only ensuring the pattern is matched and continue to smooth it out all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to cut the left side of the wallpaper as this will give you a more professional finish than if you were to wrap it around. Um, if you wrap it around when the wallpaper dries it does pull away and it doesn't look good and it also it's prone to tears as well. So for best results, you need to cut the wallpaper using a smoother tool as a trim guide. Do use a slightly thicker smoothing tool though, as it will leave a bit of wallpaper on the wall. And all you need to do then is um, bring the cut wallpaper back to the corner of the wall using a sticky adhesive. Um, just squeeze that all the way along the lip. Then you place the cut wallpaper and matching the patterns up and smooth it out. Okay, I had to stop recording because my battery ran out, so it's the next day and I'm going to hang the last wallpaper for this video, which is a pretty straightforward compared to what I've already dealt with. There's no inner or outer corner to deal with and there's no sockets as well. So it's just um, match the pattern, cuts any excess paper and smooth it out. So, easy job. So that's it. This has been How To Not To showing you how to um, hang wallpaper to an inner and outer corners and around a wall socket. So this has been the most difficult part of the process so far, but there's still more to come. There will be part four coming out soon where I'll show you how to hang wallpaper around a door. So if you want to see that video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. I'm still in the process of making it, but hopefully I'll have that video out soon. That's if I don't run out of wallpaper paste. <laughs> and if I do, I'll probably upload another washing machine video for you. I know how much you enjoyed the last one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, have I got this the wrong way round? <laughs>